Oh, hey everyone, I'm recording this again. Uh, recording this again because, um, this didn't sound very good. Um, hope you can't hear the light. It seems to have a bit of a noise and it's agitating me. I hope it's not being in the video. Um, yeah, I just sounded like really sick in the video. Um, so hopefully this sounds a bit better. Uh, these stickers are by Malted Milk Co. My sister bought me them, so I'm not entirely sure where you can buy them, but I imagine if you um, find like the Malted Milk Co, you can find them. This is, uh, they're both like 17, like the K-pop group uh, stickers. Uh, so All Mine's on the songs, and then Jong Han's Hot Milk. So yeah. So, so I started this on the 23rd of January 2022 and finished it on the 25th of June 2023, so a year and a half. I want to say a month and a half then, that's not right. <sighs> Pardon me. Um, that says hello everyone in both Chinese and Korean. Uh, this is the sketchbook. Uh, so it's a Delta series Stillman and Burn. Um, five and a half inches by eight and a half or uh, 14 by 21.6 centimeters. It's cold press paper, so it has like a bit of a texture and it's ivory colored, so it's not pure white. Um, and it's 270 GSM and it's acid free and it can be used for dry and white media. So yes, little drawing of myself, which were done in Karen Dash Neo colors. Okay. I remember that. Okay. You in frame. Kind of in frame, slightly, slightly off. Um, um, Genshin, so this is my OC. Uh, later on you will notice I changed the hair colour, but it is white for now. Um, so yeah, my OC with Dilukun Kaya, 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 Kaya. They have a scar. Uh, this is when they're a little bubble, and this is where their scar is. Um, they are a polearm user, though... Um, they can use every weapon, but I think, uh, like, if it was to, if they were to be included in the game, they would be a pole arm user. I think some kind of other sketches of, like, their outfit, the aspects of, well, different pose, and then kind of, like, aspects of their outfit. Um, they were, I think, hmm. I can't remember if it's Liyue or Inazuma, but I kind of took, I'm assuming I took inspiration from both because the pants are giving Inazuma, but the top's giving Liyue, so I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I'll have to find the info. Um, Blue Exorcist, I'm assuming I rewatched it. So, Coltars, Rin, Bon, uh, Poker Brows. I'm literally, I, I, I'm trying to read it, but I can't process what it says. <laughs> Uh, Shima, and then, I hope you can't hear that banging, that's my dog scratching herself. <laughs> uh, just a random little thing, uh, Renjun, uh, Mark, Lee, both from 7, not 17, NCT, um, so yeah, both from NCT Dream, so this was done in... End of January. Yeah. This is also January. Uh, more Genshin. Still January. Wow. <laughs> so my OC um, comments about not sure what to do with his arm. So this arm is very much just kind of lying there awkwardly. And this one's resting on his sword. I, I do remember the sword in this one apparently. Uh, there's also comments about his shoulders. It says shift to the right. I think this one's okay. Actually, does it mean my right or their right? Because I would have assumed their right. Because it looks like it needs to go this way. But this one looks okay. But this one does need fixing. But yeah, that's just kind of a better view of um his outfit. Uh, is it still in focus? Yeah. Um, I actually did colour this digitally, don't know how good it is, but, you know, I did it. Um, some pencil swatches of my pencils. <laughs> um, they are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. 
I keep a few in my pencil case. Um, so I keep these main three in my pencil case along with a Payne's Gray and Ivory. Um, which is basically the same color as a pen paper because I've just realized that paper is ivory. But this would be a good way just to kind of add a little bit of tinsy with a tint because obviously most of the time uh, so just to clarify a lot of my OCs that are kind of inserted into a pre-existing universe are based on myself <laughs> kind of corny I know uh, but because I have I'm very pale and I have light hair so ivory um yeah so the Faber Castell polychromos Um, O.C. and Ito with a sword instead of the pole arm. Um, apparently I just prefer drawing him with the sword. Uh, this is my... I apologize, I keep yawning all of a sudden. I promise I was not yawning until literally I started recording. Okay, so that was January and now we're in February. Like an, enti an entire month later. <laughs> Like, not even just like, oh, a few days. This is 27th and then 23rd. 27th of June and then 20 27th of June. 27th of January and 23rd of February. I can't, okay, it says, I don't know if anyone knows Chinese, but that is the date. <laughs> um, so this is my D&D &D character called Taito. He's half elf and he has a yak, a giant yak that he rides cold swatches for his hair so for this I don't know if you can see this I'm very proud of the way this one turned out I'm not gonna lie so what I did is I used my three colors as a base and then used the brown ochre for his hair color I was swatching to see which one I wanted and I went with a brown ochre for the hair color but yeah I that's why you can kind of see the different tones it's the blue red and yellow uh oh, also um this happened pretty at the very beginning of the um campaign he just got a stick stuck in his hair well you can't really see the stick too well but there's a stick stuck in his hair and it just remained there for the entire campaign until he eventually had to cut it off which is a digital sketch i think because i did i sketched it i think this is when i was preparing for the campaign and then i sketched digitally whilst we were doing it sketch that my teacher saw um and then she proceeded to shot to start showing me a load of uh webtoons that re it reminded her of the style which is this is not a typical style i do but i just kind of wanted to draw this kind of nose shape so yeah wanu from 17 which was done in march so i've gone from 23rd of February to 28th of March. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. This is also the 28th of March, so I'm guessing I did all of this about the same day. Wow. 17. Yeah, so more 17. So Vernon, Meha, uh, Joshua, Johan, Hoshi, 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 Shiro. Yeah, I don't like this. I think in a drawing in and of itself, it's okay. It looks good. It does not look like this is gonna annoy me because it's ever so slightly bent. Uh it does not look like Hoshi. Um I don't wanna talk about that, that's bad. Um but I really, really, really like the sketch. Yeah. I also really like this one. I really like how Ming Hao showed up so um just to clarify, that is just his name written in Chinese. Uh, you'll see Korean, like I said, I think I mentioned before, you'll see Korean and Chinese written throughout my sketchbook. Um, mostly just names and dates. Jeez, I apologize. My Batman OC, this one is not based on me. Or at least not everything. There are aspects, but he's not a self-insert, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, not a self-insert, that's what I mean when I say OC. Mm. Yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. I just feel like it's, it feels less embarrassing to say the RNFC. 
Um, but there's nothing wrong with self inserts. Like if it gets you to, like it's one way of enjoying things. So like nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but this is Elijah or Eli. Haven't drawn him in a long, long, long time. Keely, stop the noise. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, now we're at the fourth of April, so we've. Okay, so it's not like an entire month. But we can off. Uh, Jason Todd. Um, that is Dick. Tim. Comment about the fact that I need to work on my anatomy, which I do. And then Batman, and I don't know why, but he always looks like I pretty much exactly like this. And I just don't know how to like, give him like a stronger jaw. Like I, I like I actively tried. He just always looks weird. So not a fan. But the shading, I actually kind of like the way I did the shading. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, so Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Inosuke. Uh, this says June. Pretty sure I did the this. I did that in work. That might have been in uni, but there's no date. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I'm pretty sure I came back because uh, I, I like I mentioned before I have recorded this a couple of times now. So, I came back and filled that in. Some watercolor mixing practice. And then, oh, I also tried to find accompanying colored pencil swatches. I did not notice that until just now. Uh, but yeah. So, like, obviously, if I want to add a bit of depth or, like, things for a bit, I can do that with my pencils. Cool, 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 cool. And then, obviously, there's notes on how I made them. Ignore this blank space. Ah, uh, Chiang Kun, set the 19th of May, so yeah, I have basically gone from the beginning of April to middle of May. Chiang Kun from NCT Wavy, Waste and Uh, S Coops from 17, now we're at the end of May, 26th of May. Yeah, S Coops. Sung Tol, Magai, Mo. Uh, Mingi from 80s. Mingi and Hongzhi, that that does not want to stick. <laughs> um, this was done. Yuk. Oh wow. Okay, so this has gone to June now. So I have skipped another month. Um, yeah, I wanted to call that in, so I did this little color swatch study thing, which I did the coloring on the twentieth of June. So that was done 7th of June. Okay, so I would have done the sketches around then. And then I did the colouring later on. Be a Hongjun. Mingyi, Mingyi. Kind of looks like Gojo. Gives me Gojo vibes. Uh, but yeah. I wanted to colour it and then I got scared. So I never did. Also, just to explain, like these are here to kind of stop like pencil transferring. Um. I need to psh it um, now, uh, but I need to go outside for that because I'm asthmatic and I don't want to die. <laughs> or at least, yeah, I don't want to choke myself on aerosol. It's not fun. 9th of June. Okay, yeah, so. And 11th of June. Okay, so this is my Pacific Rim AU. Which it's not an AU that's like, just actually, is it? No, it is. No, I don't. There are other. There, it, there is fandom stuff in there, but it's mixed fandom. And I also haven't drawn any of those in the fandom apart from my Ushi. So, yeah. This is the concept for the uh, Jaeger. Um, his outfit. Uh, some more Batman stuff. So, Dick. Tim. Dick. He's burning his toast. And then a little body right here, which I think kind of looks cool. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of. Kind of. Not really. It's there. <laughs> um, wait, what date was that? June? 11th of, like, 10th of June? 20th of June? Um, and then we go to August. So, Escoops, Tokyo, Escoops, 
And this is June again, so I must have went back and filled that in, because I drew something here. I will show you. I drew that in 21st of June. Um, didn't like it. Didn't want to fill anything else on the page when it, whilst it was there. I've, I remember trying to sketch something on a sticky note, and it wasn't working out. I think I tried to redraw, like, fix it on a sticky note, but it still just wasn't working out. And then I eventually just drew something on a sticky note, and I stuck it there. To cover it because I didn't want to look at it. Okay, so now we have Hotong. Uh from Heaven's Officially Bless he Heaven's Official Blessing. Um Chinese uh Donghua. Um uh, so like an anime an animation Chinese animation series on Netflix. Or at least that's one of that's probably the easiest accessible version of it that I know. Um, Peony, Spider Lily. I kind of want to do like a modern day kind of thing with Hua Chong. Really like the way his hair turned out here. So he has the peony tattoo on his shoulder. And then you can't really see it very well, so give me a second. But this is a Spider Lily. I know you can see the darkness, but then it's basically there's his pegs. And they're stretched up over his head. So there are his arms right there. And I'm just filling this in very quickly because I, I want to be able to s appreciate it. <laughs> and there's his head. Yeah, kind of thing. I may have just ruined it. But, you know, boohoo. It um, doesn't really matter that much. I wasn't that precious about it. But yeah. S uh, spider Lily in his armpit. He's got like a black up sleeve, if you can tell. Yeah, okay. Um, ceramics concept, didn't get to do it, for what reasons. Um, oh, all this time I've been like, I can't remember the name of this, it's Kaiju number something. It's number eight written there. I couldn't see that earlier. So this was done at the end of June. This was also done at the end of June, yes. Okay, I have the names here. Kaf Kafka? I am, I'm not sure, it's like KF. K F K A Kafka. Uh, this guy reminds me of Alne from Haiku. How do Furuhashi? Ao Kagu Kaguragi. Hoshina. I can't read the first bit. Uh, I can't read it. <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. Please ignore me. Um, yeah. More pencils! Yep. Kaya! I actually really, really like this sketch and I like the way I close it. I'm quite proud of myself. Uh, Kaya, OC, and Diluc. So this is July now. And then my OC. Um, so this is kind of, once again, kind of color concept for his outfit. Uh, yeah. Tattoo ideas. The peony uh, idea, like from before with Hua Chong, I'm actually getting this tattoo in a couple of weeks. So that's fun. Also, once again, the spider lily. Uh -huh. So the whole thing with Hua Chong, the, like the tattoos I gave him, were kind of tattoos that I wanted. So this is kind of the ideas there. I actually quite like this. This was just from my head. I didn't have a reference, and I really liked the way it turned out, and like the way I inked it. The dragon tattoo was more just a spill face. I don't want. Uh, yeah, that was more just it. And then a weird little back bend thing because that's fun to do, but I also the anatomy is kind of janky because the body's twisted. Well, it's not janky. It's twisted, but that's not what I wanted. So you know, more Genshin. So, uh, Razor, best boy, fave. Um, I really like kind of the way he came out. I won't lie. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, I feel like I probably could define some of the shapes more on his upper body, but like this, I'm really proud of. And he's holding his sword. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my OC, I've changed his hair to like a darker, like a blue-black type thing now. Uh, Diluc and Ito in kind of, kind of, kind of slutty clothing. They, they be slutty. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We move on. Uh, random sketches. 
didn't have anything else that I wanted to put here. So we'll ignore the fact that it's a blank space again. Um, pretty sure this is just a guy. I feel like I saw this guy on the bus. Or on some kind of public transport. And I just thought his features were really nice and interesting. I didn't draw him whilst he was sat there. I drew him later. But I wrote notes of kind of like... The specific aspects that I kind of liked. Well, not specific aspects. It was like aspects of his features overall. But like things that I really wanted to include. Because I just kind of... It was a a different combination of features that I'm used to drawing. And I, 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 I just... Yeah, I wanted to draw it, and I really liked the way it looked. Um, well, I should say, I liked the way he looked. Uh, but the point was, it's like it was very... Um, some features are just really nice to draw. But, like, you don't always think of combining certain features. And that's kind of what this was. So, yeah. Uh, Baiju, I gave him Phoenix Eyes. Or oh, done Dan... dan I can't remember where it is in Chinese. Uh, it has Dan or Fei. Because there's two types, so depending on which type you're thinking about. Uh, but Phoenix Eyes, uh, they're meant to be really. They're like. Um, it just cut off. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, what else? I think I was talking about his Phoenix Eyes. Um, so. It said that like people with them were like extremely beautiful, smart, intelligent. Uh, really lucky that kind of thing. I'm just gonna zoom in a tad. Okay. The but yeah, they're really like auspicious. So you know, and like based on kind of the way I've seen him draw, be like, based on like his model, and like the way he look like his model looks, I think he could potentially have phoenix eyes, and I wanted to include that because like, obviously like Liu is based on like China, um, and I also just think they're really pretty eyes, um. So yeah, I included that. Uh, Scaramouche, Jellyfish haircut, uh, Jao, Ito. Ito was shorter. I feel like this would be like a kind of younger... I stopped again for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. That's kind of upsetting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jao, Scaramouche, Ito. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ito! Uh, which shorter hair? I imagine this is kind of like when he's a bit younger, like younger teen, mid, midish teens, I guess. More scaramouche, because I, I kind of wanted to do like a full piece with him, but like didn't. So, you know. Um, and then we're at like the end of July now. So my OC again, with his pole arm for once. <laughs> uh, OC, OC. With his little, so I know what people call it, like, oh, like the C, uh, like, uh, I, I play it on the iPad, so I don't know what they mean by, like, the letters. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the the one, whenever they have, like, a projectile thing, that, that one, because he has a sheep. I couldn't do a cow, because Ito has a cow, so instead he has a sheep. And with his pole arm, Kea thinks he looks like, um, Kea thinks he looks like little Bo Peep, apparently. <laughs> Uh, um, I just realized I completely forgot what, um, what vision he has. <laughs> it's probably water or air. Hydro, I should say. Hydro or animal, but you know. Also, he pins back his hair. So his scar is always on display for whatever reason. We're now in August. Oh, yeah. So back to 17. Well, this is a random sketch. That's nothing. Uh, Jonghan, Minghao. I really like this sketch. I actually really, really like this sketch. Uh, but yeah, Minghao. Um, I see this and, I, and my brain goes Shonu from Monster X, but it's not Shonu. It's S Coops. But it just looks like Shonu. And all I can see is Shonu. Oh, but it says S-Coops. But I, I remember the the drawing. The, the photo was S-Coops. But it just looks like Shonu. And I don't know how I did it. And it drives me mad. <laughs> but I like it. It 
give it. I just, it's it's just to me, it's just show news. Yeah, random doodles, a Yoongi from BTS. Oh, Suga. Um, I wanted to make a sticker, um, uh, based on Inosuke. So, if anyone knows, uh, but there was a originally, uh, kind of stereotype or assumption that if you were dual sword sword dual sword 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 a dual sword sword wielder wielder that you weren't straight if you cast from a drift <laughs> uh but yeah you know okay i also wanted to do this in a very graphic style with my pascas but the issue was there was they were very watery I'm assuming because I hadn't used them in a while. And I did shake them before I did this. But it just was not working. So I don't know what happened. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, so this... Now I'm in... What month are we in? We're in January now. So we've gone from... August... To January. Yeah, we've gone from August to January. Or I could say that I, it, I'm pretty sure that's our second of Jan. But I can't tell. I can't be my one eye. So this meant to be. So this was a comic idea. Anyway, this was a comic idea that I had. Ah, uh, so this is meant to be a main character. Oh, it's kind of set in like a martial arts club school. Kind of, I think it was like a uni type setting. Like, kind of thing. um, one of the guys. Just meant to be kind of like the love interest type of thing. One of the girls, and then love interest, another girl, in it because I want this to be a very diverse. I wanted to have many different body types and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm um, pretty sure this was uh, the concept that I came up with was very much because I was dealing with something at the time. It was just kind of my way of processing it. Um, but I didn't go anywhere with it. But I would like to. I think it would be fun to. But I also don't know if I can take on a project such as comics at the moment. Um, I've been trying to produce one for a while. Um, and it's not, it's just not happening. Um, and that one is a lot more well thought out. So if I'm going to do any, it's going to be that one. Um, but yeah, this at the moment, it's not really viable with my, u my uni work and whatever. This is September. What? What? Oh, it says second Dan. <laughs> It's talking about his belt. <laughs> this is the new July. <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. So July to September. Okay. I don't know. What? No. Oh no! It says jujitsu. Oh, so it's for. I'm assuming it. Yeah, this is very much based on myself. <gasps> uh, the, so it's it's a taekwondo. It's based in taekwondo. But he has a a, a black belt in jujitsu. Um, no date though. There is. So yeah, we've gone from August to September. So like a month, you know. More seventeen. Well, this is shonu. But it's not very good during a shonu, so that's kind of disappointing because my other one looked more like shonu than that one does. Anyway, Hoshi Wanu, and that says Nugu. I'm pretty sure it's a random photo, or at least when I downloaded it or saved it, it was to me it was no one, but it it is probably Mingyu. I won't lie. It I I was pretty I was looking at it afterwards, and I was like that really looks like Mingyu. So it could be Mingyu, and if it's not Mingyu. And it doesn't really matter because you can't see the face anyway. Because I drew it more for the body, to be honest, for the pose. So, and then Yeonjun from TXT. Uh, it said I finished in the second of January, so I can't. Because I remember I started during this, and then I came back to it and finished it like a good while later. 
because I remember finishing it. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna cover this page because it's kind of personal. Not in the sense of like I'm ashamed or like whatever, but it's uh, someone in my, uh, it's a drawing of someone in my life and I don't know if they want me to share it. More like that kind of personal. Um, portrait with my colored pencils. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to blend. I feel like this would have been a lot better if I did my watercolors and then did the color pencil on top to have more definition. But I think for my first kind of full color pencil piece, I, I think this went quite well, especially because like col colors is not something I'm particularly comfortable with in general. But yeah, I'm quite proud of this. Um, okay, so this is a very hodgepodge page, um, so I don't know if you've noticed, but typically my pages kind of have a uniform theme or connection, because that's just kind of like how I like it, um, but I noticed it was kind of stopping me from drawing or leaving big spaces because, because yes, uh, you've noticed that. I can't think of what to draw, or I can't, or I don't want to draw anything else related to that. I just, I just won't. So this is a scoops, but this is Dick Grayson. Actually, no, it's Tim. It says Tim. I thought it looks kind of like the body, like the the hair is definitely Tim, but the rest of it kind of looks like Dick. I'm not gonna lie. So December, January, January. Yes. Yeah, so I've kind of skipped. There's no date on that. So I've gone from September, the first sketch on that page is December, so September to December to January. Okay, this is me. So, so um, the club I'm at at uni, the sports club I'm at at uni, we had a social. And like, this, this, fo this photo wasn't taken up, like, so the photo... The main focus is not me. I'm just in the background. But when I saw it, I thought it was really funny. Because I'm just like... Oop. And it's just like, it's really me me. And I just kind of like the pose. And I wanted to draw it. So this is me. <laughs> this is random. Kind of like the perspective. It's kind of cool. Actually, now that I think about it. Um, and now we're in June. So you've gone from January to June. Uh... <laughs> It's still life. Not still life. No. I can't remember the term, but like when they're sat there. Um, but it wasn't like a class. But yeah. I don't like the way it looks. I'm not really proud of it. My, um, I hadn't drawn in six months, so to be fair, it's probably not terrible, but it's not great. And it annoys me because I don't like it. But then I, I've redeemed myself. Like a week later, so I'm proud of. I still hadn't, I hadn't drawn. So that's the 16th of June to the 25th. So that's actually not even a week. That's a week and a half, and I hadn't drawn between these two. But look how much better it looks. Just look how much better it looks. Um, I'm really proud of this. This was also from life. Um, I was at my friend's house. Um, I was visiting friends, should I say? Um. It's not my friend's house because they just moved out because the the university year has finished so they've had to move out of their accommodation uh but yeah they were playing games uh i wasn't interested in playing uh they did offer but i was not you know i wasn't feeling it um wasn't feeling too good so i didn't join in uh but yeah so I kind of want to, because of the Spider-Man mask, um, I kind of want to make a full illustration of this, kind of like full in, kind of digital of this, so I don't have to mess up the original. But like fill it in and just make a full illustration out of it type of thing, kind of Spider-Man themed, Spider-Verse kind of vibe. But yeah, um, so otherwise... Yeah, this is the end of my sketchbook, so I finished it on the 25th of June. Um, this last page did have a load of writing on, 
but I've erased it for whatever reason. It looked like a random bits of Korean and Chinese. Uh, this bit has a uh, gesso test to see the feeling of it because I got gesso because I figured, oh, that might help with the pascals because it won't tear up the paper as much. But I wanted to test it and the texture, it's very like gritty. It's kind of like sandpapery, but yeah, that's a test. But that might have been the way I was applying it and the brush I had because I didn't have a big enough brush and like water and whatnot. So there is tests on that that I realized. Oh my God, I just realized. You didn't see that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then more Korean and Chinese. Um, this was me very, very drunk uh, at my university sports ball, trying to show, show my friends from my sports club how to write in Korean and Chinese, but as you can tell, it's not very good <laughs> because I was very drunk. Because um, because uh, I, I do Taekwondo, so obviously we count in Korean. And I was like, "This is how it's written," uh, and I was telling everyone the correct pronunciation because it drives me wild when everyone says it wrong. But yeah, and then under the little pasta test. Yeah, and that is the end of my sketchbook. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope. The, the several issues in the beginning with it stopping were not too bad. Well, I say beginning, but it's kind of like, you know, but yeah. You want to have a proper look at the stickers, so. Oh, you. Oh, my. I'm probably singing the wrong song. Oh, I'm really bad at remembering names of songs. So, yes, that was my sketchbook tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I basically finished it within a year and then proceeded to just not draw for six months for the last two pages. So that was frustrating. But yeah. Um, kind of want to finish some of these pieces. I'll probably tab them later on to be like, oh, want to do something more with it. Want to develop this type thing. Definitely want to use color more. I feel like I used to explore a lot more in my old sketchbook. My, one of my old sketchbooks, um, but yeah, um, I feel like I've not been drawing enough, and uh, because of that, it, like I feel because I'm not producing as much art, each drawing is then more precious, and I don't want to ruin it by potentially experiment by experimenting with like coloring and whatnot, you know. So, um, I do want to draw more. I want to kind of explore a bit more. Kind of get annoyed with myself. When I don't finish things that, well, I don't, like, I, I have, I, I do something with the intention of doing something else. Like, I I do that Mingi drawing specifically with the intention of doing it into a full piece and then proceeded not to because I got scared. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good time wherever you are. I've not done this in so long, I forgot how to finish. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.